everybody welcome back to this edition of in the kitchen with muera beta that is me and today surprise surprise i have this handsome man my sous chef Baby Mazimba. <laughs> all right guys so today we're actually going to make a traditional zimbabwean dish with a bit of a twist to it we're going to make sada and carpenta aka sada ni matemba but with some stew on the side just to give it a little more hearty make it a little more hearty than it needs to be so Okay guys, so right here we have the ugali mix, aka sadza, ufu. We have that ready. And now we have the collard greens, otherwise known as rape, maveji. Here I have two tomatoes that have been chopped up, finely grated. I have some onions, one and a half onions, really big ones. So if you have small ones, maybe two. Then over here I have matemba angu, I would say half a bag to dig it to to my 2kg bag and then I have my beef stew that was a pound of beef I cut it up into small little blocks then we get to the spices this is aromat chili beef seasoning I have my mild and spicy raja curry powder this is really good I also have fish spice you can buy this fish spice in stores in Toronto if you guys live in Canada and are looking for it. I also have jikelele, and this one is a replacement of Royco. It tastes just as good as Royco, and I like it in my stews as well. I have paprika. Of course, you can't go wrong with paprika. This will go in my fish. And then I have beef bouillon cubes. No. I will put one full cube in my stew. And of course, some salt. Let's go. All right, guys, we have the beef over here. I just put it in some water. It's going to start boiling. It was pre-washed, so that's why it's not like bloody red anymore. I'm gonna put the cube, break it up into a few pieces and have it boil after I leave it in there. Now it started boiling, I'm gonna add my spices. I add two teaspoons of curry just like that and after I add my curry I add some aromat chili beef seasoning I pretty much add to my eyesight like Chandruk all right guys so now I'm going to show Mori how to make the kapenta aka matemba he's going to do it himself and I'll just be here as a guiding voice all right Mori first thing you're gonna do is put a handful of onions in the pan Handful, please. All right. There you go. Nice man's hand. And what do we do next? Fry it up. More? More onion? I love onion. Sure. Go ahead. Let 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 you to do it according to taste, right? All right. Good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Fry it up. And then we'll be back when they're golden brown. All right, guys. So right here, Mori is the one who's frying the onions. He's now adding the capenta to the onions slowly and then he's just gonna keep frying it up nice and slow it looks really good right now guys you see everything is golden brown and he's mixing it up really really well note the technique you don't put all the matembas in one go because you want to add bit by bit all right now he's adding the fish spice the spice that I showed you in the beginning he adds just a little bit of that because it's actually pretty spicy now he's gonna add some paprika as well it's gonna add just like about a dash of it. He's gonna keep adding more and more as he goes along just for the coloring. You know paprika makes a nice color. Now it's like almost reddish brown. We add a little bit of water. I would say a quarter of a teacup of water. And we mix it in all together and then we will leave it to simmer. Look at that guys, it looks absolutely delicious. And we leave it alone. All right, beef, yum. It looks so good, it's boiled now. We're just frying it up. We did not add any cooking oil. It's got its own oil with it. We add the onions now. He adds them little bit by little bit. And he's just gonna mix it all in nicely like that. So the onions, obviously, we add them for flavor as well. Now it's all steaming up, looking good. He adds the tomatoes, all the tomatoes we had cut up before. He adds them all in there. And he's just gonna mix it up nice and slow. The heat is actually low now. It is 
pretty much at three on my stove, which is, I would say, a very low heat for regular stoves. We add the Royco, a.k.a. Jigelele, and we're adding that in nice and slow. We added a full cup of water to it. And you see the color, guys, it's nice and brown. It shows how yummy it is. So yum. We're going to leave that to simmer for about 20 minutes. Move on to my veggie. All right, guys, we don't add any onions to my veggie sometimes because sometimes people don't like onions and everything so that's what's happening over here we just put them all at once so that they all cook at the same rate and we add some salt more is a bit of a genius he uses two two spatulas instead of one but this is how it goes all right guys here is the end result we have the sads on the side my veggie capenta ne beef stew looks delicious can't wait to dig in I hope you guys like this recipe, and if you ever want more information, comment below, and we'll help you guys figure out what else you need to do for this recipe. If you have any suggestions as well, comment below and let us know. Otherwise, hope you enjoy.